Hello and welcome back again to Dragon Age Origins and we are playing the Dwarf Commoner Origin story. Uh, let's have a quick look at our current quest. Make sure Ever wins approving. The warrior case is hosting approving today. Bera has lots of coin riding on the young fighter Ever and wants you to make sure he wins. Bera gave you a drug to use on minor Ever's opponent. So uh, we are already at the proving, so um, let's maybe have a look at the carving, and then <laughs> we need to find um, a miner and poison his water supplies. And I really want to try to steal from somebody. Let's try to steal from these guys. Did you see that first bout? Astar's helmet practically shattered. <laughs> Dalbo still has the ancestor's favor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? <laughs> oh, I love how aggressive she sounds. But yeah, the stealing has failed every time so far. Maybe she needs to be more cunning or something. Um. All right, Ever is over there, but we need to find the other guy. Ever's armor chest. <laughs> hmm. Okay, then I guess we're going to look for Iver instead. Oh! Sweetheart! Oh. Um. Sod it. He's stone drunk. He could draw a dead man for his bout and still lose. Oh, Barat's gonna kill us if we slip up on this. He's still mad about the time I accidentally told that barkeep Barat had demanded free ale delivered to my <laughs> door. Hey, I just had an idea. Do I want to hear this? So, you've been rubbing my nose in how you're the meanest thing with a blade, right? <laughs> if Aird's armor is over there, and you're about the same size. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I I I I heard this before. Uh <laughs> in in the Dwarf Noble origin. There was a dwarf who told us about an incident in the provings where somebody somebody was an imposter. And I think May have been aware. So, <laughs> uh, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> hmm. All right, I'll put on the armor now. You find Miner and drug him. Got it. It'll help if you can distract him, though. Just, you know, talk to him so I can sneak past him without him noticing. Let's do it quickly. We don't have much time. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, this is his stuff. Let's take it. Ah, oh. yeah, I remember that in the in the Dwarf Noble Origin, uh, when we visited the provings there, one of the dwarfs told us about an incident that happened a few days earlier, and that uh, somebody was basically impersonating one of the fighters, and then <laughs> the the actual fighter came into the arena, and he was kind of drunk and everybody noticed that it was an imposter. So I'm guessing that's what's happening right now. Uh, this is going to end badly. Hey! Only fighters are allowed in these chambers! Who are you? <laughs> I'm Hedrun. I'm working the waste trenches. I don't care about your name, Brand. My fight should be called any moment now. You can come back and clean then. Hmm. <laughs> Can I touch you, please? Um. Yeah, I'm just such a fan. Can I touch you, please? It's ill luck for me to touch someone the ancestors have cursed. Oh, God. But if you like, I could tell you tales that would make your friends weep with envy. All right, fair enough. What's it like being a warrior? You, it must be so exciting. You think it's exciting to venture with 50 men to search out a dark spawn nest and return with less than <laughs> 20? Everywhere we walked, we heard them scratching in the walls. But they only attacked when we stopped. You got used to the smell of your brother's blood, but never <laughs> to the Genlock's reek. <laughs> uh, how do you fight such creatures? 
It takes great skill, for if you let one wound you, the taint festers until you run mad. We die so the rest of you can live snug and remember the glorious days when our empire stretched beneath half the world. Bout three effect. Officer Minar versus the warrior of air. Fighter, take final preparations, then report to the ring. That's my fight. We'll finish this when I return victorious. Well, I got him. No more time. Make sure you have everything and go tell the Proving Guard you're ready to fight. And don't forget to keep your helmet down. All right, all right. Okay, so I guess he poisoned the water. Um, indestructible. <laughs> Interesting. Probably so that I can't <laughs> destroy it and not finish, not finish uh, the quest. So let's put on all this stuff. Yeah, I mean, I totally look like like him now. <laughs> um, I hope that I don't have to use his sword though, because I would prefer. Yeah, he uses a long sword. That is that is not good. I guess I can take his axe. Sure, why not? I take his axe and a dagger. I'm sure. I'm sure nobody will notice. Oh, will I take the mace? Oh, I can't take the mace. No, no, I have to. Yeah, let's let's use the axe and one dagger. And hope nobody notices. Um, okay, that's the way. All right, let's do this. I believe it is time for your bout. May fortune favor your fight, Averd. Are you ready? Not. <laughs> As you say. This is a glory proving. Fought oh, under the watchful eyes of the Paragons of Ozomar. For our honored guests, the Grey Warden. The warrior Everd, son of Gauten, will fight Officer Minar, survivor of the battle at Kar Elerin. <laughs> Stone choose the honor of the <laughs> heart. Oh, Sonic. Let's just fight! <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Alright, um, this shouldn't be too difficult. Let's, let's kill this guy quickly. Okay, and apparently don't mind that I'm not The winner is... Ethan! If he has normal weapons. <laughs> A truly memorable fight. The young cadet vanquishes the wily veteran. <laughs> Healer, see to his injuries. The warrior Everd, son of Golden, will fight last year's journeyman division champion, Adalbo, proven in glory before the stone. You honor me with this fight. May we both win glory in the eyes of our lords. <laughs> now you're talking my language, brother. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! And let's go. I love how desperate you are. You're <laughs> The winner is Ethan. <laughs> the ancestors have withdrawn their blessings and embrace a new champion on their field. The warrior of air, son of Galton, will fight Lenka, silent sister in training. She has made her vows, but not completed her blooding. Will she be accepted into the legendary order? That will depend on her performance today. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, all that stuff about honor and glory. Let's fight. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! And let's deal with her as well. Done. The winner is... Ethan! <laughs> 
Glinka went to the stone without a sound, as befits her vows. But it wasn't hard to see the blood that was spilled. The Baird will advance to the final bout to determine the true champion of the ring against... What? It's my bout already? Oh no. <laughs> hey! That's my armor! Who are you? How dare you disrupt this sacred... Wait, I know that man. That's a Verd. Mm. Then what imposter did I fight? <laughs> Remove your helmet, warrior, and let all who watched you see your face. <laughs> I'm a very arrested fraud. <laughs> uh, no, I'm of no caste or clan and I've defeated you all. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. <laughs> scandal. Great scandal. <laughs> but I think he's impressed. <laughs> Castless. You insult the very nature of this proving! Guards, take this filth away! Hold your man, I pray you. This warrior has defeated the best you have to offer. Is that not what this proving <laughs> is for? We are honored by your presence, Warden. But this proving is not solely for you. There are laws which have governed this arena for a thousand years. This woman is no warrior! She is castless, rejected by the ancestors. Her very footsteps pollute the stone. She has no place here. Except as your champion. Ah, <laughs> uh, I I really like Duncan. Whatever origin story, Duncan is always awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens to us now. Are you awake yet? Psst. Can you hear me? <laughs> How hard did they sodding hit you anyway? Did you have to put up such a fight? Uh, I just hope I took some of them down with me. Oh, you did. And don't think they didn't show me their appreciation. One of the guards recognized me and figured we must be working together. They burned three candles to the stump interrogating me about who put us up to this. I think they knew, you know, about Barat. Um... What's the sentence for ridiculing the entire Boria cast? <laughs> Public whipping, loss of your left hand for stealing the armor, loss of your right hand for refouling a smith's work. <laughs> Public flaying for impersonating a higher caste, and if that doesn't kill you, they'll put you to death for polluting the proving. That Grey Warden suggested exile, but it didn't seem like anyone was listening. Hmm. This doesn't look like a typical guard cell. Huh. I guess not. I mean, I've been in most of them. They don't usually have... this many bloodstains on the walls. Uh, any chance you see a way out? Good, you're awake. Barat will be glad to hear that. Oh. Javia, what are you doing here? You caused a lot of trouble today. Barat lost a hundred sovereigns for Lord Volney. <laughs> the entire proving was declared invalid, and the Assembly already called for an investigation. You can't imagine the state Barat was in when he told me to get you. Why are you here? Where are the guardsmen? You're not in their cells anymore. And I don't think I appreciate the time and money it took to bribe the right people to get you back. You got every guardsman at that proving thinking if he takes your head off, the ancestors will bless him forever. But they know whose hand holds the whip. When Barat claimed you, they knew who's going to get to watch your last breath. Hmm. Let him come. He'll see I don't scare so easily. I don't think scaring you is what Barat has in mind. 
You risked exposing him before the entire warrior cast. Now they're asking questions, and as long as you have tongues to answer them, you're a threat. Enjoy your last night together. Sorry we had to put you in <laughs> separate cells, or I'd suggest you have a last tumble. Arad will be by soon to make sure you maintain your silence. Okay, we're in big trouble. Um, but we can level up. I like that. <laughs> Let's take some strength and um, maybe more cunning. I can't take any of the improved dual weapon skills, so let's just take this. Um, oh, rubble. There appear to be splinters on the floor, possible fragments from crates that used to be stored here. They look narrow enough to slide into the catch of a log. Uh, sure, give the splinters to Lesky. Ah. Good work. If we want to get away with this, we can't leave one man alive to tell Barat what we've done. Understood. Okay, let's take our belongings and let's get dressed. Um, yes. This is for me. And I guess this is for you. Like so. Also, I think I remember this place. Beras hideout. <laughs> because it looks like um, the prison cells in Javia's hideout. And I think we actually freed a dwarf from this cell. It, it even may have been him. That would be interesting because there was another dwarf in this cell and he was dead. So, <laughs> I guess that would have been us. <laughs> Interesting. It's it's really intriguing how, how these stories connect together. And, I mean, there is the implication that, you know, whatever origin story you play... Let's have a look where I need to go. Uh, let's check out this place first. Uh, th the implication that whatever origin story you choose to play, all the other happen as well. Um, just that they, you know, end badly. <laughs> Now's better than later. Since, uh, Duncan is basically just recruiting one Grey Warden, and all the others that he isn't recruiting will <laughs> die. <laughs> okay, let's kill these thugs. Okay. Let's take all Got their it. stuff. But yeah, I mean, if you think about it, um, the Kuzland will probably die when all the right, castle right. is attacked by Al Hau if it wasn't for Duncan. Uh, the city elf uh, will be executed. The Dalish elf uh, dies from the taint. Okay, more more thugs for us to kill. Um, the dwarf noble dies in the deep roads <laughs> and I mean we would probably get executed as well or die in the prison cells over there um hey they are uh, dead oh they're more over there okay let's take care of them and the mage I'm, I'm not sure if they would execute her for helping uh, Joe and ex right, escape I really love the dual weapons weep when several people are around. That's very effective. But I mean, even if the mage, the circle mage, is not executed, <laughs> she or well, he would probably die uh, when when the circle is being taken over by by Aldred and the demons and the abominations. So I think it's safe to say uh, that if Duncan isn't there to ex to, uh, to execute you, yes, now to recruit you, uh, all the other heroes or potential heroes will die, and that is a very very intriguing thought. Okay, let's have a quick save here. 
Um, where does this lead anyway? All right, more thugs. Let some of them come to me, and I will use the dual weapons weed. <laughs> ah, very nice. <laughs> I think I'll keep my light armor. But I'm probably going to steal all of Birard's stuff while I'm at it. Okay, let's go. And even more bugs. And we need to kill them all, I know, I know. And do a weapon sweep. <laughs> Very nice. But yeah, this is totally uh, Javia's hideout. Uh, presumably, she will at some point take over Bera's business or something. But, um. Okay, this is a dead end, but let's have a look if there's anything we want. Well, a chest, anyway. Alright, alright! Um, how about you? Yes. <laughs> And there's just a lousy dagger inside. I am disappointed. Um, okay. This door can't be entered. And that is an autosave. Let's have a look. Oh! I'm cutting the whore free. If that freak of a sister of hers can't stay in her place, I don't need precious Rika either. Rika? That the one you got all done up in lace? I've been wanting to get my hands on <laughs> that. Ha! <laughs> I know what you mean. She's yours if you want her, boys. And let me tell <laughs> you, it tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> what in sod all is that doing out of its cage? Come on, boys. The little whore needs to learn her place. Well, <laughs> now we know how Javia takes over Bera's business. Bera is going to die. <laughs> and I can't say I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of that fuck and now you can die. There we go. Nice. Did you see him there all when we're done with you? And you just <laughs> charged in and Sonic slaughtered him! You right. have to be the luckiest duster in Orzammar. Barat's dead, and we're standing here. Hail to the Sodding King! <laughs> and now we step up and take things over. Whoa. Don't push <laughs> it, Salraka. Barat kept his place by making sure it was always dusters like us who took the fall. Right now, half of Orzammar knows who you are. We've got to lay low for a while. <laughs> Are you trying to ruin my moment of triumph? I'm trying to make sure you don't do something stupid. <laughs> Maybe in a long time, when everyone's forgotten what happened today, we can see who's left to challenge us. And maybe, if Barat's family topside doesn't figure out who killed him, they'll keep doing business with us. And maybe we'll be able to figure out which mining family stocked the carta with Lyrium. <laughs> and then maybe we'll have the chance to take over. Until then, let's just get out of here. All right, all right. Well, I'll take your stuff, though. Um. Yeah, let's have a look here. Maybe you can open that for us. I'll get on it. Yep, you can. I'll get on it. And sure, let's grab all the stuff. Even if I don't really need it. Let's get rid of that. And continue. Yep, let's go. Right, this <laughs> leads back to the shop. 
You're not supposed to be here. Wait, is that blood? Ancestors, protect me! Don't worry, we're not here for you. We need to get out of here. Oh... There they are! Seize the fugitives! Drop your weapons and walk down slowly. <laughs> we will use force if you resist. I just killed Barat. You should be thanking me. He's dead? Barat had many enemies, but also powerful allies. They... Barat would have butchered us if she hadn't killed him first. Your friend has once again demonstrated her courage. We Grey Wardens travel far and wide in search of those with the potential <laughs> to join our ranks. It seems I have found one. Why are you telling me this? What's in it for you? Let me make my offer formal. I, Duncan of the Grey Wardens, extend the invitation for you to join our order. This woman is wanted for treason. You can't do this. I can, and I am. <laughs> it would mean traveling to the surface lands and thus leaving your people. But it does offer you the chance to strike a blow against the Darkspawn and the Blight. Then sodding yes, let's get out of here now. Then before these witnesses, I hereby recruit you into the Grey Wardens. Know that you are most welcome. This is highly irregular. <laughs> the warrior families will be most upset. Look at you, you duster. A warden. And to think I knew you when you were stealing bread. Before we brave the deep roads, I would like to make you a gift of this mace, since you have so few possessions of your own. It was once wielded by the Warden Foral Idukan. I believe he was related to your king. I know you <laughs> will continue his proud example. Goodbye, my friends, and thank you for your hospitality. Alright, and I guess we're now leaving for Ostagar. I'm going to skip the intro of Ostagar again and only with the introduction to the king. We will be traveling south. A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, your majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, your majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh, there, friend. Might I know your name? Yeah, I don't think she has any particular problems with humans as such. I mean, she barely knows any. So, uh, let's just uh, say I'm head with your majesty. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. It's good to see one of the honorable stout folk outside Audemar. <laughs> honorable? You must be thinking of the nobles. Sounds like there's a story behind that. <laughs> you must regale me with it sometime. Uh, don't you have a battle to fight first? I meant after we defeat the Blight, of course. <laughs> I doubt Logain will give me a moment's rest until then. I've been to Orzammar. King Endrin invited my father to a grand proving long ago. How does Endrin fare these days? <laughs> Personally, I couldn't pick him out of a crowd. Ah. Huh. Still. I hope to be as wise and fair a ruler as Endrin. <laughs> Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. We'll see about that. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore right, me with his strength. Right, and the rest is Your the same again. <laughs> Eamon! I... No. What the King said is... Yes, we should... Until... And there we go, achievement unlocked caseless. So we have finished our final origin story. This was relatively short again. Um and yeah, I think she is a promising character for a replay simply because she would make a lot of different decisions from my first playthrough as Cardi Kusland. 
for example, um, I think she would probably be the only of my characters who would actually side uh, with the Templars in the Circle Quest, simply because, you know, it's just the fastest way to get what she wants. <laughs> I mean, she comes there, the Templars offer her, you know, we are going to help you if you clear out the Circle Tower, so that's what she's going to do, and she's not going to bother to look for other uh, alternative <laughs> uh, solutions. And as a dwarf, I, I don't know, maybe she isn't that fond of magic, or at least a bit suspicious about magic, s since she doesn't really know much about it. So I think she's just going to kill everyone in there, uh, and ask questions later. Um, I, I would like her to side with the werewolves as well, simply because I don't think any of my other characters would do that. Uh, maybe she just thinks that the werewolves make better fighters than those flimsy looking elves, so she she's going to recruit them. <laughs> uh, in Redcliffe, I think she's just going to kill Connor. As far as I know, it is an option that you can just kill Connor if I read the um, different options in the Dragon Age Keep correctly. So I think uh, her solution will be, you know, no stupid ritual and going into the fate and all that business. Just kill the boy and be done with it. <laughs> and, um, you know, and since uh, her sister is apparently involved with Prince Balin, and Prince Balin is somewhat sympathetic to the caseless, it stands to reason that she would side with Prince Balin uh, in the Orzammar quest. I'm not exactly sure if she would support Branka. I mean, she certainly thinks it's a good idea to create more golems, because more golems uh, would help the fight against Darkspawn. But she may also be a bit worried that, you know, the first people who get <laughs> chosen to become golems will be the caseless, so... I don't know, I don't know. I think in the end she may decide to keep the Anvil of the Void, um, because they need the golems and, you know, whatever it takes. And if dwarves have to die for it, then so be it. Also, uh, she's not going to have a romance. She doesn't have time for that, so uh, no, no romance for her. Um, I also would like her to recruit Loghain in the end, <laughs> and then he will, uh, then she will probably have him kill the Archdemon. <laughs> so <laughs> that would be an interesting, interesting solution to the game. So yeah, um, definitely a lot of different decisions. Uh, I can already see her getting along not very well with Alistair. I mean, I don't think she is trying to be intentionally mean to her companions, and she will try to help them if it's reasonable, but for the most part, uh, she just thinks that... Um, she just doesn't tolerate any sort of weakness, so uh, she will be pretty harsh to her companions, and... I don't know, um, some of them may have very low approval of her in the <laughs> end, so that would be interesting to see what happens then. But yeah, this is it, the final origin story. Um, I will be uploading a very short bonus video, probably later today. Uh, basically somebody uh, told me that I should do the feast day pranks and gifts, which I haven't done um, in, in the main game. And I thought, sure, why not? It will be a nice little uh, final video to, to finally end my playthrough of Origins. Uh, I suppose it will be just a short video of 10 minutes. Maybe I will give a final wrap-up of the game as, as a whole. And then we are finally ready to move on to Dragon Age 2. I know a lot of you have been waiting for that. However, I do need to take a few days break, uh, since I'll be having a visitor and I won't be able to record anything for a couple of days. So I have planned to upload the first episode of Dragon Age 2 on uh, Wednesday the 23rd, uh, at the usual time, and then we can finally begin our next adventure. It's probably going to be an extra long episode, or maybe two episodes in a row on one day, because I will most likely have a long introduction and the character creation and all that stuff, and I don't want to upload an episode where we don't have any real gameplay. So yeah, you can look forward to that, Dragon Age 2, starting in a few days. 
I hope you enjoyed this. I am really happy that I did um, the other origin stories uh, because it it gave me a lot uh, of insights into the game and into uh, the other characters that you can play. So I hope you, you did enjoy this little excursion and I hope you will all be coming back for Dragon Age 2. So see you then.